This is just one piece of a multi-part course. If you're interested in more, check out tunefiles.com. For this video, I'm actually on my iPad Pro, and I'm going to go inside of Procreate and show you my process of creating textures for 3D Moho objects. There are many ways you can go about doing this, but I find that using this app or an app with a symmetry feature can help when designing your textures because it will create a seamless loop if needed. So I'm on my iPad and I'm just going to go into my drawing apps and then choose Procreate from the list. So here, if you've never used Procreate and if you have an iPad Pro, I definitely recommend you pick it up. It is an awesome application. You can see I have my projects here inside of Procreate. And if I tap on tutorials, I can go in there and you can see the sketches I made, but also the textures I made as well. So for instance, I have a texture for the sky, the lava, the trees, the rocks, and a couple other things. So if we come in here, you can see here is the lava texture. And this works because it mirrors itself all the way around. So you can see that on the top and bottoms of this, they are darker. And so then if we were to stack this one on top of this one, it would look like a mirror and it would just continue to seamlessly wrap around. And so that's why we're going to create the textures this way, as opposed to just painting one image. Now to do something like this, it's quite simple. I will come back out here to the gallery really quick so I can make a new document in Procreate. So I'll tap on the plus button and I'll go with the square canvas. That way, all sides are equal. So we tap on that and go inside. Now, the next thing I want to do is enable my symmetry guides so I can do that mirroring effect. And this is easy in Procreate. Just go to your Actions panel. And under Canvas, you'll find Drawing Guide. Tap on Drawing Guide to enable that. And then you'll want to tap edit drawing guide to go inside. Now here we have a 2D grid, isometric, perspective, and then on the end at the top you have symmetry. So once you tap on symmetry, which is the option you want, come down on the bottom and you'll see that we have four buttons. The third one in is called quadrant. Tap on that and we're now splitting the screen into four sections. If you're having a hard time seeing the grid, you can always come up to the top and adjust the color of the grid by using your slider right here. So I'll make it dark blue so we have an easier time seeing it. And once you're done, you can tap done on the screen. Now, let's go over here to our layers really quick. I just wanna note that layer one is marked as assisted which means that it will take advantage of the symmetry guides as we move along. Now, if you make a new layer, you'll have to turn assistance on for it if you want it to adhere to the guides, just so you know. And I'm not going to do anything elaborate here, but I'll just pick a color to show you how this works and a brush. So we can just come in and use carbon stick that works for the charcoals and we should be set. So again, with the symmetry guide, as you start to paint in, you can see that when I place my brush anywhere and I start to just paint in, it's mirroring it on all four sides. And that's what's great about this. So you can come in and you can design your texture any way you see fit. And you don't have to worry about the texture not looping correctly if you have a big object and you have that texture going all the way around and it's tiling. So this is a great way to cover yourself with that. And with Procreate, I could do an entire course on Procreate because it's so involved and really, really a good program. But you can come in here and do all sorts of different things with your color, blend modes, and your opacity. And really, you have a lot of control. Not to mention, you could take this over to Photoshop and make any final corrections you wanted to before you bring it over to Moho. But ultimately, once you finish that up, you'll just want to come over here to your Actions panel, and then you can go to Share. And then you can tap on PNG and you can share this file then with either your computer, you can see my MacBook pops up through AirDrop, 
or we can save to the Photos app, we can save to our files, whatever you want to do, so that way you can get this file over to your computer. But just so you know, for this course, we will be using these textures and they will be provided for you. So you can see we have all sorts of different ones and you'll find them inside of the exercise files. So that way you can follow along with the next video. To view the rest of this course or gain access to the source files, visit tunefiles.com.